<laughs> so, um, Soft. I, I want to share with you some more research. And what I'm going to do, because I can't remember the authors and I can't remember the name of the paper. Right. So I'm going to put that down the bottom right here. Let's see if I can do that. Um, Okay. In post production. Oh, okay. So leave some um, room here, weatherman so, style. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so this research is 20, 2017. Right, so okay. we're so this year, absolutely. And it's video research. What they did is they looked at do, because uh, it, it's about, you know, how we making videos interactive by asking students to answer questions yep. is, is really important. Yep. It's not just about watching video, can't be passive. Exactly, that's right. And so one of the questions is, well, what's the best place for, for the questions? So um, this research looked at pre-questioning. So um, asking a series of questions before the video. Okay. And it improved learning. Not only for the stuff that was uh, that had been pre-tested, right. but all of the stuff in the video was better in post-test after pre-questioning occurred. Okay. So why is that? Well, it's probably about priming. So what I, what we probably think is happening is that it's um, uh, it, it's it's reassuring the student that we're just building on something you already know. You already know something about this topic. Okay. So um, when they get into the video, then they're already primed to learn. Okay. Simple as that. So what we do uh, at my school after I read this research, I, we started it straight away. So we've got these workbooks or these booklets for the for the year nines, and for each of the videos, there's right. um, there's a page and there's pre questions. It's probably three pre questions. Um, right. And video. Yeah. So right. let's talk about something like thermoregulation, which is about controlling your body temperature. Well, let's you talk. Yeah. About. <laughs> and and so it's asking students things that they should already know, like what does your body do on a hot day? Okay. Okay. What is the purpose? Is it, are they goosebumps? always going to be that general? Like they're yeah, not going to yeah. be subject specific. Okay, uh, cool. They're subject specific, but, but of a general nature. Base, yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay, cool. And you know, and and if the students don't know the answer, that's totally cool. They've still been primed okay. by thinking about it. Okay. Uh, and you know, when I go around the room checking their answers, I'm really not worried about what they write for their pre questions. It's just priming. And it's an engagement. You've, you've engaged them. That's exactly to right. Start the process. Yeah. Yeah. So in their booklets, they did their pre-questions. Right. Um, then we're just playing around now with getting them to do um, taking their notes on the other page. So like if you imagine it's a, a double book and it opens up like this. So here's their pre-questions and their post-questions. Here's a blank page okay. for them to actually write their notes. So okay. this becomes the booklet, everything they need to know for this unit. Okay. Um, so you know. The, in any style of note taking you want there. Do you encourage um, a particular style? Like I've had to, my girls, yeah. um, we've talked about a particular style yeah. of note taking because in maths, it's, it's been verbatim notes. Right. It goes on that whiteboard, it's going on the yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're trying to break that. Yeah, I know, exactly. Because we want that there's synthesis. No value. There's yeah, no synthesis right. analysis. So we so, break it, yeah. So we, we have a we, Cornell, everyone, if yeah, you Google it, Cornell, Cornell notes, absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, I would love to say that I'm doing that, but I'm not. Uh, and I need to. Well, we had to start somewhere. Oh, so that's brilliant. We grab that. Right, we'll, we'll have a look. So then after that, there's post video questions as well. Now, the post video questions are, are more specifically related to the video. At least the first couple right. are recall from the video. But yep. really importantly, the last three or four are transfer. So in other words, the students have to apply their knowledge from the video right. to answer these questions. And they're the ones that I'm really going around the room and checking. So they've done this, they're doing, is this an inflip or is yeah, this an individual in space? Right. So this is an inflip. This is an inflip. Right. So okay. with my junior classes, it's an all an inflip for me personally. Right. The students really get homework. Right. Said, students rarely get homework <laughs> because they, you know what, they do it in class and they work right. so exceptionally hard in class. They, they don't need it, and I'm okay. getting this feedback all the time that they get it. See, so you're, you're ticking another box there. You know, the question's raised at the moment. What's the value of homework? What is yeah. it? Do we think about what we give them? Mm. And hey, my my mob are probably the most guilty math teachers. Yeah. You finish the odd numbers. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> exactly. All right. That's right. Have you gone into that? That's, yeah, that's well. Have you looked at those? Don't know what they are. <laughs> they just do finish the odd numbers. But there's two uh, odd numbers, girls. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pre-questions, that's really exciting. Um, new research this year, it seems to be working for us. Right. Can I add one before we go on? Yes. 
just did a course this year, Harvard University Visible Thinking. Okay. okay. And this matches up. And what the, my takeaway was this, CEC, connect, um, extend, challenge. That was the visible yeah, thinking is. regime that we pulled out so of. So connect is the pre-video yeah, questions. Yeah. Just listening to you there, mm -hmm. all my thoughts are going to this Harvard mm -hmm. course that we did through visible thinking. So extend and challenge are probably the post-video questions. Yeah. In fact, these first, hey, well done, English. They, <laughs> these first couple uh, well, were just, just reassuring mm -hmm. ourselves that the kids have got the main points. That's not even part of this. This is about extending and challenging as well, you know what, like extending See, the, is the this. The connect, I, I think, falls in this because it connects what you're about to do yeah, yeah. with what you've got prior knowledge. Yes, so oh, this is not absolutely. A, this is not a discrete piece of work. Yeah, exactly. This is sequential. This is, so yeah, just warm your brain up. About this. That, exactly, right? yeah. So and that's, that's, that's that. And so I wonder, if extend, I wonder if extend is about these post video questions. And then on the next page, they've got their Well, the idea was, okay. Or their experiment, which is the challenge. Well, that's what they were sort of, uh, they connect with prior knowledge. Right now, look at the prior knowledge. This video is just going to add a layer. Yeah, that's right. Right, and mm -hmm. then this post-video questions is going to challenge, challenge. Oh, right. what yep. you've just created oh, as yeah, knowledge okay. yep. to extend that further, to challenge you to, to take it further. Love it. So sequentially, and out of the whole course, this just we start in maths now, and we get a problem. Mm -hmm. PSR question. We start CEC. Well, how mm -hmm. can we connect this with what we nice. know? Nice. Okay. What's the extension in the question? Why is this causing us grief? Yeah. Why? Oh, I don't know what. Uh, right. So that's the extension. So now we have our challenge. How do I stop? I oh, see so you do that with the students. Yeah, it's a problem solving oh, okay. process. So I, I want to make their I want to make their thinking visible. How? What yeah, do you yeah. think? Well, we cool. say to the girls, Steve, think about it, mm. and they sit there and look at you. I say, come on, you got to think harder. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And they go, we don't know how to think. Yeah, they really don't no, know how yeah. to think. They look at it and they squint, they knit the brow and all sorts of stuff, and then so this actually gives them a, a, a visible thinking process, right. right? Right. What is in this question that you already know? Yeah. What's prior knowledge? Exactly. So it's a, yeah, is yeah, there yeah. something that I've extended out here mm. that's created the challenge for you to think about? Mm -hmm. yeah. So they start joining some dots. Right. So it, it does. It falls into this. There's your pre. There's your extend through the video, and then your post production. Mm -hmm. Your post post production. Your post video yeah, is yeah. your challenge. So yeah. that's that's just a visible learning, and we say that to the girls, and they know it. They see it. And the better quality here, the more challenge you can get as well. Oh, you know, okay. within that, yeah. that. And that's learned. That took that probably took a good thirty days to yeah. forty days. Oh, that's right. The girls, I just keep explain that they didn't learn what these words meant and how they worked Absolutely. within their yeah. visible thinking. And you know what? We had to do the same thing. It yeah. took probably probably a term yeah. to get the students really good yep. at doing good quality answers, yeah. good quality notes. But once they're the good, videos. oh yeah, that's right. You're flying. Exactly. Absolutely. You get that active. You get that active learning time back. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Which is the challenge for us in science. Um, you know, that's our, ex our, our experiments. Yeah. And you know what? You can spend a week on an experiment totally relaxed because we know that the kids are going so efficiently through the work, work. that we can focus on really yeah. good stuff. Yeah, that's cool. it.